Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question for some part 2. In this question we are given 4 list A, B, C, D of integer value and we need to compute how many tuples are there such that their sum gives us 0. To make a problem a bit easier, all the A, B, C, D have the same length of n where n ranges from 0 to 500. All the integers are in this range and the result generated is at most 2 raised to power 31 minus 1. In the first example, uh, we can see that there exist two tuples where the sum is equals to 0. Now we can solve this problem by using a nest loop of all the arrays and processing every combination checking if the sum is 0 or not. But the time complexity becomes n raised to power 4 which is quite high and in order to reduce the time complexity we will be using a space in order to store the intermediate result. Now what result we need to store is if we see it that the sum of the 4 should be 0 that means the sum of two values must be in the negative of sum of the other two values. So if we know the sum of the two values and store it somewhere and get a negation of that then we need to find if the rest of the two values gives us that negative result if that is the case then we have found the sum and we have a tuple and we will increment the counter otherwise we do not have that tuple and we do nothing. In order to do so uh, let's see how we will write that in a code and we will discuss that side by side. As I said we need to have a space where we will store the values so we will be taking a map. Now in this map we need to store the sum of a plus b. We need to put the negation of the sum into the map so what we will be doing is we will be putting the negation of sum and if the value already exists what we will do is we need to get the already existing value or a default value for the sum and add 1 to it. So we have all the combinations of a and b put into the map. Now we need to just iterate over c and d. its sum will be this. We need to find if this sum exists or not and if it exists we need to add that counter into our count variable. So we will first declare a count variable initialize with 0 and then adding the value of sum from this. Now the count contains the result so we will simply return it. That's it for the coding part. Uh, let's run this code. So it runs successfully for this example. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this approach is O of n square as we are using a nested loop. And the space complexity is also O of n square as uh, the maximum map can contains O of n square combinations. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.